Hey girls, so I wanna to go to my Instagram account and go through some of the photos that I've posted and let you know my raw, authentic emotions and whether they're fake or not. Some of them definitely are and like posing, that sort of thing. I think it's an important exercise. And I've got this Social Blade thing here. I don't know how that actually ended up there, but I am part of Social Blade for YouTube reasons. Um, 398,000 followers and falling. Let's have a look at Social Blade. Since putting up these less or more authentic, I should say, photos, um, some people have definitely, it's accelerated the unfollows, but I mean, this unfollowing has been happening for ages, a lot to do with the Instagram algorithm as well. It's all pretty crazy right now, but I think some people actually think I'm going to turn into some crazy feminist or something, so they're unfollowing, and that's fine. I mean, I just want people who are actually really interested in what I am trying to do and what I'm trying to help create in this world. Okay, so these are just my recent photos, my beautiful face, my hairy legs, and let's scroll down further here. Let's click on this one. Okay, so this was taken years ago. This is a repost, and I remember this day very well because I was so frustrated with this photo shoot. The photo shoot including myself and the tripod, and hours, hours of trying to perfect this effortless look. Effortless equals hours of frustration. Isn't that strange? And this is not at all uncommon. There's girls on Instagram spending hours and hours and like almost a whole day on one single shot. And that's not okay. You know, it's all right to want to look your best, but when you're spending your whole day or many, many hours on it, then you need to reevaluate your priorities in life. So I remember this day clearly and my hair was what I would call a bad hair day. It was pretty flat and lifeless. So I flipped it over and essentially doubled it up towards the camera so it looks like thick and lustrous, which is you know, essentially manipulating the audience into thinking my hair is something that it isn't, when in fact it's like genetically quite fine hair and I can't do anything about that. I also increase the exposure. You can see there's some shine on my stomach here and on my hair and, you know, the glow just to make it a little bit more healthy looking. I increase the saturation a lot. Okay, it was quite dead at this time of year where I was, but I increase the saturation so much it's just like glaringly like, you know, just makes it look that little bit much faker in my opinion. And I'm just looking at this pose, like seriously, who the fuck drinks a smoothie standing like this? Basically on your tippy toes, holding your skirt out and drinking a smoothie at the same time. It's ridiculous and it's not at all like real life. And I remember um, falling over, actually falling on the ground several times. And that's part of why it took me so long because I'm trying to do this really fake stretched out photo which was ridiculous. And so I have like, oh, I had at the time about 50 other versions of this because I did the photo so, so many times. But, you know, it got that desired, it got the likes, you know, got the likes and girls were like, you know, they're inspired for veganism and that makes me feel really good. But that at the same time, I don't want veganism to be seen as some aesthetic thing, you know, because if you see it as just like, oh, you know, it's going to make me look pretty or something, then you're so much more likely to go back to eating animals. So in that way, this photo is not helpful. And as I said, there's a lot of fakeness in it, unfortunately. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to this before and after. Okay, so this, this is me. This is all me. And um, I was definitely unhappy here. Okay, and I'm not saying like I'm fat and disgusting or anything like that. I'm not saying that at all. But if you read this status, you'll see how unhappy I was. But I'm smiling here. This is being fake. Okay, I'm smiling through the pain. I've got this bleached, like horrible hair thing going on here. But anyway, that's not what we're really talking about right now. The after photo. Okay, the after photo is another one where I thought my face was, like in the last photo, I actually didn't talk about the face as well. You know, I always have this thing where I'm like, oh, I don't want my face to look too hard or too old. So I try and, you know, get this relaxed look. And that relaxed look can actually take me a long time to achieve. It really, really can. And I remember thinking in this final photo, oh, my fingers look too fat because I've always in the past thought, oh, my fingers are disgusting. You know, why don't I have long, beautiful fingers like a lot of girls have? I've just got these fat, stumpy fingers. That's what, you know, that's just that negative self-talk and that conditioning, you know, coming out, which in reality, of course, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm just lucky to actually have fingers. 
you know, to use. And I'm definitely posing it up here a lot. This is another photo that took me many hours to perfect. And, I, you know, I still wasn't happy. You know, that's the reality. So let's move on here. Um, this other one onto this photo. So this one is one where I'm really, you know, up on my tippy toes and a bit of a funny story. Like I've had people compliment me in the past on my arches and they've said, oh, you've got a ballerina arch. And I'm like, what is that? And, you know, I've had it quite a few times and I'm like, oh, I'm a little bit unique. I'm a little bit different. Um, yeah, I'm going to like, you know, make the most of that in this photo and show off my arches. That was definitely in my mind, which is kind of strange. Um, this pose is another strange pose. Like I'm twisting, which actually I remember, yeah, when I twist like this in these photos, it's actually quite painful. It's actually quite painful and it gives me cramps in the side, but I'm trying to achieve this kind of shape here and, you know, putting my breasts up there, which is a boob job, like I've talked about, which I'll talk about more in the future, but I'm trying to make them look big and then make my waist look extra small and, you know, stick my bum out a bit and get some curve. And then I'm just randomly looking down, randomly looking down there, which I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm thinking about right here, but I know that this photo was another one that took time and pain, literally pain, twisting my body, trying to make it look lean. Yeah, so there's definitely pain in this photo and I wanted to show off these pants and I wanted people to say, hey, nice pants and I wanted compliments and validation. So let's move on. Okay, so this photo is a sponsored photo and when I look at it, I think, oh my gosh, I look pretty fake here. This facial expression is like, you know, I see a lot of these squinty eyed smiles and stuff on Instagram and they're just so fake. You know, I've seen people take the photos and then afterwards they're like unhappy like totally unhappy and they've just made this squinty eye like really smiley face and then they're like oh you know like just not happy at all and I'm kind of doing a bit of a squinty face in this photo as well I'm doing the sponsorship and it says here dreaming of a cruelty-free world with lots of bananas and friendly fashion and I am dreaming of that you know that is authentic that is for sure but trying to put it into a photo just makes it seem really fake to me and I felt uncomfortable to be honest, photo, um, posting this photo. And this photo took me like half a day. Like, honestly, like Robin was frustrated with me. Like um, there's insects biting me. I had a breakout on my chin, which was annoying me because I was trying to, you know, get the healthiest angle. And my hair was really, really flat from the humidity and the bananas like on the other side was breaking. So I had to turn around the bunch. It was, it's another one of those photos that is not real life. And it's trying to create this fairy tale. So this is another repost from years ago because, you know, I'm reposting them because I know they're popular. I know they're going to get likes and attention. And, you know, maybe I'm wanting some validation. Maybe I'm wanting to, you know, um, get people to watch my video. And that is part of, that's definitely part of my motivation when I'm doing these photos. And in this photo, like I learned how to do that whole, like push your, your butt out on the side look you know to get that curve happening here and you see it all over Instagram it is like oh it's kind of exhausting seeing these photos and I'm not innocent myself I've done them as well but they're so fucking fake they're literally so fake um, my backside doesn't look like that when I'm walking it doesn't look like that okay it like flops a bit you know I'm 37 it's not like you know a super perky bum and even when I was like 21 it wasn't a super perky bum but it's a bum and it works so that is definitely fake. My bum doesn't look like that. And I'm twisting here. I'm doing this painful twist again. You can see the, the skin folds here, meaning I'm doing the twist because it gives me that like that shape, you know, that twisty lean shape. And I remember those skin folds really being a thing for me because I had an ex-boyfriend who used to say I had elephant skin and it was, you know, loose and wrinkly and kind of insult me about that. And it definitely became like an insecurity of mine. So when I saw those skin folds, which is just skin, I, in, in my head, I'm like, oh no, you know, people are going to say oh, I've got saggy skin and just insecurities that are not rational, you know, rising up again within me. And I'm carrying this massive watermelon and just struggling. It was a super hot day and another shot that took me a long, long time to do. And I'm saying here in the caption, honestly, girls, 
please don't restrict calories to lose weight. And I 100% stand by that. That is authentic. Don't do it. It does not work. Another thing to comment about this photo is the fact that I'm trying to break my back in order to get this ass popping effect. It's ridiculous being in that much discomfort trying to get this ass pop. Like what's the point? Just embrace the ass and sit on it and use it. That's what it's meant for. It's meant to be sat on. Yeah, this one, I'm trying to get some magazine look. And I remember posting it and thinking under my arm there where I'm holding up the lettuce, where my bicep is, I'm like, oh no, that looks really bad. It looks like I've got like no muscle at all. You know, people are going to say I'm anorexic and oh my God, my, my ribs are showing as well. People probably think I'm too skinny. Oh, at least I've got my boobs there. It makes me look like I've got more flesh on me. And just an interesting side note is this orange necklace. I really, really love these orange necklaces. And part of the reason that I got this really big one is because I have freckles underneath this necklace here, like on my chest. I have like sun damage and freckles and stuff like that. And this orange actually helps cover it up. So that's how like deep my insecurities ran. Okay, so I just want you girls to know that I've been there, okay? I've been to this place of being, of faking it and of feeling, you know, like I have to compete with others and that's really, really important to, you know, present myself in a certain way, but I'm over it now, okay? I'm after the authenticity. I'm over these fake faces. I'm over these like fake pa painful poses. I just want authenticity now and I want to inspire you girls to do the same. That is what I'm wanting to do with these videos and I'm not saying you have to try and make yourself look as ugly as possible or anything like that you know I'm going to talk more about steps that, that are going to help us all be more authentic and just reverse this like fucking crazy fake Instagram trend that is happening that is just out of control so badly in society so my goal is to create some sort of authenticity army because I feel like it's really really needed because there's too much of the fake stuff it is taking over so if you're interested please let me know if you want to be part of this and I'm thinking about starting a separate Instagram account where we can post our real photos and talk about real issues in the world and create some real change I know it's easier to go with a fake flow rather than stand for something real in life but mark my words girls it will lead you to a life of unhappiness and self-obsession it doesn't matter if there's not many of us we will multiply in time what is important is that you have this strong resolve and you desperately want to see the girls of the world embracing their true selves i'll see you girls next video